Hello and welcome. Today we will be understanding about data analytics. If you are a fresher or want to change your field to data analytics, then this video will help you a lot. In this session, we will be understanding what is data analytics, why we should use it, what are the types of data analytics, what are the steps involved in it, which tools can be used for it, and what are the other skills which will help you to become a good data analyst. Let's get started. Now let's break the word data analytics into two parts. One is the data and second is analytics. Data is nothing but the collection of values figures. It is a factual information which will be used for discussion, calculation, reasoning and anything. Analytics is the process of finding the pattern, discovering the pattern in the data so data analytics means using a data using a technique or tools to identify a pattern and that data which will give us an insight and we can use that insight to make a decision which will help the business you even don't know we already use the data analytics in our day to day life for example while deciding a budget of our home we analyze the past data where we have spent which was unnecessary spendings so we can avoid that in the future months so we analyze that and take an insight from that and make a decision that okay from the next month onward we will be using this amount of money here so this helps us already so because of that i say data analytics is not just a tool or technology it is the way of thinking and acting on the data now why should we learn a data analytics we already discussed a lot that it is to gather hidden insights from our data our data is in very messy part we are not able to understand by reading the numbers or values so their data analytics helps us it will help you generate a report in in a format which will be helpful for insights now it can perform a market analysis also it meets the business requirement it will help you cutting the cost so that you can improve your business and it can also help you in attracting the customers what are the types of data analytics broadly there are three types descriptive predictive and prescriptive the descriptive answers what has happened it means it focuses on the historical data for example netflix's movie recommendation engine netflix uses this engine in order to study their users for example they will study a user how much time he has watching movie which series he is watching what genre he likes how much time he has watched where he has paused where he has resumed how long did he took to finish a movie or a series and according to that it suggest a movie to the user now there is another example for the amazon company the amazon company does the same thing it analyzes their user it analyzes their pattern of shopping it changes the price according to that for example it is uh, from the survey it is known that the amazon earns its 35% of sales by doing this only so you can imagine what is the power of data analytics in today's world second time is productive sorry predictive predictive means it will answer what could happen so it also analyzes the past data and predicts the future which means for example in the manufacturing industry it can analyzes the data of a past few months so suppose the stocks were sold in a past 3 to 4 months with a 1000 to 1500 range so in the upcoming month the business will know we have to keep a minimum 1000 to 1500 stock in our inventory third and the last type is prescriptive it is the complex type of analysis and it answers what should be done it is used in the fraud detection system in the banks. It analyzes the pattern of user, how he has 
during the transaction and if any anomaly comes the system will detect it and it will help now what are the steps involved in data analytics so it basically starts from the objective you have decided that what do you want to learn from your data now the second part comes the data understanding what the data is saying what type of data it is what are all the dimensions or values it in it compasses third part is the most important and 60 to 70 percent of data analysts time goes on this part it is data cleaning and transformation there are many anomalies null values blank values negative values we need to make it proper we need to format it in a their particular data types so that's why it takes a lot of time now after that we go to the data enhancement we do after cleaning the data we take that data and analyze it so we can use excel or sql for this we will no, we will try to understand about this tool in our next slides. So after data enhancement, we will analyze what are the data is saying, what are the insight, what are the patterns, and we will visualize this pattern in the last step of the data visualization, for which we can use Power BI Tableau like softwares. So this is the whole process of data analytics. Now, what are the tools that can be used? There are numerous tools in the market like R, Python, Tableau, Power BI, Excel, SAS, SQL, ClickView, Apache Spark, and many more. So, in order to become a data analysis, we will be understanding that from which tools you can start. You must have heard Python a lot. Python is the buzzword. It is the hottest word. Everyone wants to learn a Python, but in order to start your career in data analysis, you, the, you cannot directly jump to the Python. From my experience, I will tell you what could be the best combination for it. So let's get started with the Excel. Excel is the most used tool. Among every organization, every business, Excel is used. So it is very important. Many of your colleagues will send you the files in the Excel. You have to learn the basic of that to analyze that file. As a beginner, we should you should know the following things like sorting or filtering, VLOOKUP, aggregation functions, formatting, pure tables, and the basic cleaning part in the Microsoft Excel. Though Excel has some limitation, it can only encompass 10 lakh rows. So it cannot be used for the large data set but if you are working in the small organization then it will be helpful for you i know many people who are working as data analysts by using only excel next next is the mysql or sql or sql sql is structured query language so it lets you interact with the database now what is database Database is nothing but collection of data where your data will be gathered. So SQL lets you run the queries, various operation you can perform in the SQL. If your data size is large, then SQL is the best thing to use. It has some concepts like primary key, foreign key. It has some other functions like select from where you can do the group by order by. You need to join some particular tables. You have to build a relationship between tables. There you need to use SQL or MySQL. Now, next tool is the visualization tool called as Power BI. Power BI is business intelligence tool. It lets you analyze, visualize your data. It lets you build the models. You can do the DAX. You can perform various cleaning part in Power Query. You can analyze and provide insight by using this visualization. So Power BI is one of the most prominent tool in the data analysis. So combination of these three can help you a lot in order to start with your career in data analyst. Now, let me show you the trend of the tools which are given in the job descriptions. So 
from the analysis we have found that excel is the most most uh, you can say most appeared skill in the job description of data analysis then sql then power bi and then python so you know now that how you can start to learn the data analysis now what other things you need to learn now what other things you need to learn in order to become a good data analyst is you need to practice a lot you should start with your excel then move on to sql and try your hands on some visualization in power bi now how you can improve this so the first step will be learn and then use it learn and then use it after that you can perform some projects you can get the data online from the various sources you can try to solve different problems which will help you in building your concepts now what are the other things you need to become a good data analyst is some analytical skills like you should know basic mathematics like probability or statistics you should have problem solving skills and critical thinking 